bounded by three or more line segments. We call it as polygon. Polygon has different types. It has starting with three sides, three or more sides. Now this it can have three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides, seven sides, until infinite size it can have. So that is called as polygon. So three-sided polygon. So we call three-sided polygon as triangle. Simple closed figure, bounded by three line segment. We call it as triangle. Four-sided figure. The polygon which has four sides. We call it as quadrilateral. And simple closed figure which is bounded by five sides. We call pentagon. Bounded by six line segments. We call it as hexagon. And uh, a simple closed figure bounded by seven sides. We call it as septagon. Pentagon and so on. The figures which are drawn 
using line segments, they plot in test, linear figures, and uh, curvilinear figures, they draw on with the curves. So these are the uh, this is the concept about curvilinear figures and linear figures. Basic geometry concepts and the Joining of the joining of two rays with a common point. Joining of two rays having a common point is called as an angle, forms an angle. These are the joining of two rays with a common point and it forms an angle. Here this is called an angle. Two rays will make an angle. Angle can be. We have derived angles, types of angles. In the previous chapter, the types of an angle: acute angle, obtuse angle, and straight angle, right angle, a reflex angle, complex angle. These are all the angles we have discussed. So these are the types of angles previously we have discussed. And uh, in the angle. How to make that angle is suppose the angle is formed, we can we can write as the one of the part of ray is OA and this is called OB, ray OA and ray OA and ray OB. Two rays are joined together with a common point. Here is the common point. They join together with point O. So here, OA and OB. We can call this ray as either AOB. We started with the letter A, AOB. So this can be also written as angle BOA. When you start with A, so the initial point is O. So one of the end, this is one of the side, we have taken A, A O B and also we can call this one as B O A, angle A O B, angle B O A. So this the name of the angle. Suppose we have taken any simple closer figure. The simple closer figure will name angle as angle A. Angle B or angle C. Also, we can name it as angle BAC, angle BAC, angle ACB, and angle CBA. These are the types of angles we have taken in a simple closer figure. So, this is an angle. How to name the, how to name the angle? So, let's go to the next one. Interior and exterior of an angle. So previously, just now we have discussed. Just now we have discussed about an angle, the joining of two rays. This is one of the ray, and this is another ray, and uh, we join to these two rays together. We call it as an angle, angle is formed here. So this is let's take the initial point as well. And one of the end is A and another end is B. So this is we named it as angle A O B or angle B O A. Angle A O B or angle B O A. So inside of the angle, the angle, inside of the angle, the region form is called interior part of an angle, this is the interior part of an angle which is inside the angle, if we extend this line this side, both the sides so this all the part will become interior part of an angle and outside of an angle the region form is called as exterior of an angle this is the exterior of an angle so this is the concept of interior and exterior 
of an angle. So let's go to the next part. Adjust an angle. Two apples have a common vertex and a common arm. We call them as adjacent angles. For example, we have drawn one of the angles here, angle A O B. Angle A O B. So edges. If we have taken one more ring between. This two in between angle A O B we have taken one more ring. So let's take let's take some other names. See. So we can observe there are totally three ways. We can see that is angle A O B, angle A O B, and angle A O C, angle A O C, and angle B O C. The three dot rays are from this from this picture. So here, what are the angle? These two angles, AOC, angle AOC, and angle BOC. Angle AOC, AOC, and BOC are having this common arm. AOC and BOC, they are having the common form of OC. OC is a common arm in this. You can observe from this letters itself. OC is present in this angle BOC and angle BOC. OC is present. So OC is a common arm. These two angles and uh, the common vertex is O. So this kind of angles are called as adjacent angles, which are having common arm and common vertex. So this is the concept about the adjacent angles. So let's go to the next concept, linear pair. Let's see the types of angles. We know that straight angle. Straight angle is the angle which makes 180 degrees. We'll call it as straight straight angle. So let's extend this OA on either side. So we have extended this side and that. Here, one of the angle is formed. Angle A O B. And let's name some other thing here. D. So here we can observe that angle A O B and angle B O D. Two angles are formed, and they are having a common vertex and a common arm. And the common vertex is OB. OB is a common vertex in angle AOB and angle BOD. And these two angles, we have the common vertex of O. O is a common vertex, and the common arm is OB. OB and OB. OB is a common arm, and uh, these two are called as adjacent angles. We have these two. And when we observe these two angles. If we add these two angles, we'll be getting 180 degrees because this is straight angle. So when we add these two angles, first angle and second angle, so angle A O B plus angle B O D is equal to 180 degrees. So two edges, I just said two edges and triangles. If we add and we get is equal to 180 degrees, we call them as linear pair. So this part is called linear pair. This is the concept of linear pair. So up to now we have discussed about angle, drawing of two rays, and next maybe angle, how to name the angle, and A O B, angle A O B, angle B O D, and so on. Interior, exterior part of an angle. So inside of the angle, inside of the angle, interior part, outside of an angle, is exterior part of an angle, adjacent angles. Two angles having a common vertex and common arm are called as adjacent angles. So, this door, adjacent angles. So, linear pair, adjacent angles which are equals to 180, 180 degrees, we call them linear pair. So, this is the concept.